Deb, thank you so much for being here. You've worked in just about every aspect of the of the sewing business through simplicity. And when I was nine years old and in 4-H, that's when I learned to sew. And I think my first pattern was actually simplicity. So it's that's been good. around a while. But what do you see as some of the things that the company has uh, started improving on so that we can entice younger sewers? Well, the challenge is people watch TV and they watch all those real reality shows where you make a garment out of a paper bag with no pattern. <laughs> and that's fun and entertaining. But we do hundreds of new patterns every year for gar garments, costumes, children's clothes. And we supply you all the needs mm -hmm. that you have when you're making a garment. You've done all the work We've for We've done us. all the work. So it's easy. You can go to your craft store or your fabric store and buy a pattern mm -hmm. for a garment that we show you a picture of. Mm -hmm. that you Let's can look at a catalog yes, because so that's what I think is fun in a fabric store is to just sit down and go page by page. The catalog is a great tool. It's like a big store mm -hmm. because we have many departments. You have a vintage section, dresses from special occasion mm -hmm. to, to sports wear, wear children's mm -hmm. wear. Uh, we have licensed brands, um, costuming mm -hmm. and home decorator things, doll mm -hmm. clothes, accessories, tote bags. So you could make just about anything you would ever need out of a pattern. Uh -huh. And we make it really, really easy. And what we do now is we have a learn to sew pattern brand as well to get people familiar with what mm -hmm. everything means because some and, people don't even know what a pattern means. Well, and when you are just starting out, I have to admit it's kind of intimidating. The it, terminology, uh, the yardage, your pattern sizes. Right, it's very intimidating and people don't understand. They think they can buy a pattern in one single size that represents the same size they buy in a store, which is mm -hmm. a common mistake and it shouldn't be done. Patterns are built on standard body measurements that Actual. haven't changed, <laughs> right? That we're not mm -hmm. gonna do vanity sizing mm -hmm. and all of that. So you use those measurements to help you pick your pattern size. And then you can use garment measurements to help you determine exactly how it's going to fit you. Mm -hmm. So these are terms that I like to teach people because mm -hmm. they, they, what do you mean a They're garment measurement? Yeah. Some of us. And so once we pick a pattern, like this one is 8300, then we go to a drawer and you, they're all numerical. And right? then this is and what we would pick this is what you get. Out. You get a pattern in an envelope and uh -huh. this on the front shows you everything that's inside. So you have a skirt with a couple of different options. You're gonna have a grommet little overlap one or plain basic skirt, very mm -hmm. easy to learn from. And then this fashion trend of an overlay. Uh -huh. And then inside this envelope, you have your pattern tissue and the instruction sheet. And it comes all nice and packaged and you'd have your instruction sheet and your pattern tissue. And you can never get it back in as neatly as it comes. Some people <laughs> love to do that, but I put them in plastic bags. That's and, smart, um, store I them. And then, so, and then inside, we start with all the terminology, which mm -hmm. I think is really the most important thing that we can I have a conversation too. about. Um, the first thing you need to learn about is your fabric. Mm -hmm. Is it a woven fabric, meaning it doesn't have stretch? Is it a stretchy fabric? And mm -hmm. certain garments you need stretch for. Uh -huh. Or sometimes now there's a lot of fabrics that have a little bit of stretch. So in here on the beginning of this page, it talks about mm -hmm. fabric and your grain line, which is perpendicular to the selvage, which is the finished edge of your mm -hmm. fabric. And then it talks about specifics for the pattern that's in this envelope. Mm -hmm. And it which gives definitions it gives of different definitions, terms. And uh -huh. a lot of them become your generic language uh -huh. that you use. A seam allowance, it's the space between your cut edge and your stitching line. Uh -huh. um, your grain line is this arrow on your pattern piece. And that's going to help you get all your pattern pieces mm -hmm. so they work properly on your body. So your mm -hmm. stripes are going in the right direction. So your stretch is going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the straight grain. A fold line is over here, so that's to know you're going to place your fabric on the fold. Mm -hmm. Which gives you the right. double width. And uh -huh. then we talked about sizing a little bit. So all your patterns, so when you first started sewing, the patterns mm -hmm. came in one size, mm -hmm. each a single size. Mm -hmm. Now all your patterns are multi-size. Mm -hmm. So you have to figure out where your size is, and you're going to cut on that exact cutting line. Okay. Then it talks about notches and dots, and these are simple markings mm -hmm. that you use for matching while you're uh -huh. sewing. So you get your pieces put together properly. Right. Um, darts. Darts give flat pieces shape. shape. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and then different markings on different patterns. This pattern you need to know where your hip line is, mm -hmm. and that would be skirts, a location pants. exactly mm -hmm. on your pattern. So that's the preliminary information on mm -hmm. here. The rest of These this page... These are the layouts for, for using the pattern. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if we went back to the back of the envelope just for a moment, 
you could see that we told you to buy a certain length of fabric, mm -hmm. your yardage, two yards, one two yard, yards a yard whatever. and a half, uh -huh. and then these diagrams will show you how the pattern pieces fit on that yardage mm -hmm. for your size. Which is great, and that way you don't waste as much and, and it just works together. Right, and we can guarantee that you have enough uh -huh. to cut from your size. And then when you get to the second page of your instructions, this is going to take you through marking. This is the fun part, this I think. This is the fun part. I truly still love to do this after all this time. Uh -huh. I still make a lot of my own clothes. I'm actually make, wearing everything homemade today. Uh -huh. um, but this is techniques and methods on how to get the markings from your pattern tissue. You need them on mm -hmm. your fabric. Right. So my first thing is I always say just leave the tissue pinned while you're sewing so that it right. helps you, but you got to take it away eventually. So there are methods, snip marking, um, any kind of marking tool from carbon paper and a rolling mm -hmm. thing to, um, yeah, we need these. So these would be your markings and you need to be able to transfer your darts to the pattern, to your fabric. And, and these, the reason there are multiple is for the different sizes. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So, and they would be all marked with the sizes on it. Mm -hmm. um, in here, we give you printed on this pattern piece, as I talked about earlier, mm -hmm. the finished garment measurements. Mm -hmm. So you can determine, okay, so maybe your hip size matches the size 10, but you might want it a little bigger, a little smaller, uh -huh. and this will help you do that. And these are your multiple size cutting lines and you need these markings for one of the applications in the guide sheet. And here's that center and fold. And there's the center yeah. fold. Mm -hmm. And then this will tell you how much hem is allowed. And then this is another marking that you need. Mm -hmm. So these you'll transfer with um, a tailor's tack, a chalk pencil, uh -huh. a variety of different things you can use to transfer those markings. And you'll use those markings while you're sewing. That's right, and, they're, and they are important. And they are mm -hmm. very important. Other things that you need when you're sewing, um, are stay stitches which help prevent areas from stretching. You'll be taught how to make hems, darts, put on facings. Mm -hmm. Facings keep your garment nice mm -hmm. and finished when you're done. And lots of sewing machine companies offer classes in the store. They do. And really uh, the extension, cooperative extension service I offers bet. classes and, sure. and I'm sure that uh, in different areas, uh, different organizations will help teach people to right. sew. Um, even it's such online a great too, hobby. In little things like this, there's a lot of stuff online and that school. Little skirt and once that you've was, used uh -huh. a pattern once, if you like how it came out, make it again because uh -huh. then it becomes a different garment. And my always what I tell people when they're first learning to sew is make something that you have in your closet almost already uh -huh. because you don't want to experiment with fashion the first time around. I see. And, yeah. and I, I always I was taught that if, if it's uh, run small, write that on there. Or if you need to extend the length or, exactly. you know, so that... Make uh, yourself notes for notes. the future because mm -hmm. the beauty of sewing is make it a different fabric and it looks completely different like uh -huh. we have here. Like this denim. So this, this is, is this darling. great little denim skirt, which we've done an unfinished edge, so it uh -huh. really finishes nicely and we put some grommets. Uh -huh. But this is the same skirt underneath it, plain little basic A-line skirt. It's got mm -hmm. some techniques in here. You've got a finished facing, and the facing sits mm. on the inside. You've got a, a slot zipper. These are all techniques that we teach you mm -hmm. in these sewing directions, yes. which I think is the beauty of it. I so, do too. Yeah. And, and I think it's always important to, to learn maybe a technique per garment, per garment so that you can practice certainly. on it. And, and when we actually do the Learn to Sew pattern, we do pick two or three new techniques, oh. a dart, a facing, a different type of zipper. In this one, we added mm -hmm. the grommet. You were learning how to put in grommets. And also to make um, just a double folded little, tiny little mm -hmm. narrow hem. And the only thing that we're not mentioning is the importance of having an iron. Yes. That makes all the difference you in the finished really garment, doesn't it? You really need to do that. Number uh -huh. one, you need to press your steams right after you stitch them because the needle going through puts little holes in the fabric. Sure. And the steam on your iron and the heat will close, close it back it. up around the stitches. And then, mm -hmm. just to finalize each technique, it mm -hmm. does need to be pressed in place. And the darts, for instance, and it tells you on the pattern, you press the center darts toward exactly. the center. Uh -huh. Exactly, and um, tie them off at the end. Right. And don't be scared of darts. Darts are a really easy, highly functional part of sewing. They really are. Yes. And I'm glad to know, I had not uh, been aware of this learn to sew, so that's something to really look for. Right. And it's right. for good for beginners or for, anybody? For beginners or anybody, if you happen to like the garment. Plus, we do learn to sew for doll clothes. Uh -huh. We do it for children's wear, so it's a mother and daughter hob hobby uh -huh. or a big sister, little sister. They can work together and make a little pull-on skirt or a tote bag. So it really helps bridge the gap because, mm -hmm. um, 
when I was growing up, we learned how to sew in school. I mean, right. I know anyway from my mother, but I, I, a lot of schools don't offer those right. types of things mm -hmm. anymore. So you do need to go to a local fabric store or any kind of cooperative mm -hmm. where they teach sewing. Well, thank you so much, Deb. It's nice to know that they take that you all have taken all the, most of the work out of it, and we can enjoy the the uh, results. Me too. I still love to do it. I've been there for a very long time, and I still love going to work every day. So it's a good That's thing. That's great. Thank you. Thank you.